Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so we are kind of roaming around Roots 101 this morning, getting a look around, but also talking about some really special stuff happening in honor of Black History Month. And I'm actually here uh, with the founder, Lamont Collins. Lamont, you have to tell me, you guys have a lot going on this month specifically. Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't believe that um, Black History is 28 days a year. It's 365 days right. a year. So we call Roots 101 more than a museum. So in order to be more than a museum, we invite the community in. So, yeah, we have events all week. Uh, one special event will be this Friday, uh, th Friday and Saturday, and it's dealing with the survivor from the Birmingham bombing, Sarah, Sarah Collins Rudolph. And uh, that's a special, uh, we call it the first and foremost, and we're dealing with her life through a musical, and that's just one of many events. Then we come back and do uh, The Three Kings, which is also a musical. And the reason we do this is to share the story and the emotions of the African-American journey, and it's a way of doing it different. I always say that we're, we're the Motown of museums. Mm. We're, you, you feel us, you touch us, and we have an emotional connection to the community. People come in here and they, they do get emotional walking around and looking at all of these um, I incredible I exhibits. And we're looking at some of this stuff right now. I just have to ask, where did all this stuff come from? I know that you have a personal well, um, relationship my, to it. Yeah, uh, most of it's my personal collection, but it's also people in the community. Uh, Julie Lewis has an a awful amount of uh, artifacts in the collection. Uh, Dr. Lockhart, who was a professor at UofL, or Bellarmine, he, he had donated the mass that's on the wall. Mm -hmm. So it's been a combination of people in the community that have supported the vision that we're doing. Now, specifically happening tomorrow, it's a big day for you guys. Tell us why. Well, it's a big day because it's the bottle release, special bottle release with Old Forster. And the bottle release is so unique because it's an opportunity to do the community and do bourbon. You know, yeah. how, how good is that, right? <laughs> I'm becoming a bourbonite now. You so, are. Yeah. And listen, that actually benefits the museum, the release does, right? Yeah, everything about it. Uh, the, Brown uh, the Brown family or Old Forster uh, selected us to be part of what they're doing with Kobe, Kentucky original black bourbon enthusiast. So it's a combination of community, combination of diversity. And no better company in the city has a history of diversity and equity as as Brown Foreman, so the Brown family. So it's a beautiful connection. And then tomorrow you can also get free admission to the Roots 101 Museum. Well, you're telling everything, yes. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow, all day from 10 to 5, there's a free admission picked up by Brown Foreman. So you can come to Roots 101, you can go through the go through the journey, the experience of Roots 101. I call it Roots 101 because in higher education, the first class you take is a 101. That's true. When you come to Roots 101, it's an educational journey throughout the black experience. And they want the learning to continue. And what a great opportunity to come down here um, tomorrow to get free admission. There's also that bourbon release that's happening tomorrow that benefits the museum. There's a lot of good things happening for them this month, guys.